Okay, welcome to the second tutorial on uh, the UT2 project. This is still focusing on the script because in order to get your project out you have to know your script. So after we've identified the music, the sound effects, the number of characters, the gender of the characters, things like that, we want to go through the script a bit more fine. And in this case what we're going to do is we need to read through it and we need to do a few things. So the first thing is we look at our effects and our music and we figure out about how long. How long is this music sting going to last? Well maybe, as I said, about five seconds. So we'll put in something like five seconds. So that gives us a time point. The theme. How long does the theme last? Well the theme will last a little bit longer. So maybe we'll put in 15 seconds of theme music. And we go to our effects, the phone rings. Well, how many times does the phone ring? Just one time? Most of us will leave the phone ringing for about three times. We answer after two to three rings, so maybe we put three times. And that may be about five seconds. Okay? Somewhere around there. And we would go through the entire script and identify how long each effect lasts. When you have effects that say under or background or whatever, that means that it's ongoing through the dialogue okay, in the background. And so in order to find out how long it is, we would actually have to read through the dialogue in a very purposeful manner. All right, Don't rush through it. You want to get an accurate idea of how long this dialogue will last. So you would read it somewhat along the lines of Melville. I hope you know how to get out to Echo Cavern, then. With the job of being town constable and ambulance driver, I reckon I know there all there is to know about this country. And you'd go through the entire script like this, okay, timing yourself about how long it lasts until you get to the next sound effect, which is here, right? So going through all of this, it's probably somewhere between 20 to 30 seconds, maybe a bit longer. Okay, so we would note that down, and we'd go through that and do that with all our effects and all our music. And this will give us an idea of where our three minute cutoff is. Now remember, you still have to write an introduction, more than what's just here, and you still have to put in outro. And because this is a five minute script, we're not going to get through all five minutes in a three minute time period. So where do we cut off? So we'll have to look carefully where our cutoff is, we might want to cut it off somewhere here or here. All right. The last thing you want to do is, as you're reading through it, take note of words you have trouble pronouncing carefully. Okay. So for example, up here, some people stumble over the word treacherous. The Echo Cavern is a might treacherous place. So highlight that so that you know this is a word you have to pay attention to, right? So you may want to put in a, a, another thing here that says treacherous. So you pay attention to that word. You know it's coming up, all right? So these are some pointers for, for going through this. The last thing you want to do is identify location. Where does this take place? Does it take place in one location or more than one location? Are there many locations like cars, all right? Uh, this will help you decide what kind of effect to apply to your sound effects and your dialogue, whether you need reverb or something else. Okay. Lastly, it also lets us know geographically the location. Is it in the US? Is it in Europe, Asia, South America? What kind of place is it? All right. And that will give us an idea of the pronunciation of some of these words, especially if there's foreign words in there that you're not familiar with. Okay, so all of this are things that you might want to do as you're preparing your script. Okay, go through it, identify uh, the times that it will take for, for your music and your sound effects, how long it will take to read through things, look for words that you're not familiar with, especially foreign words, and location so that you know what kind of effect to apply to your dialogue and your sound effects. Okay, I hope this tutorial has been useful. Thank you.